All right, welcome back to another episode of Tea Talks, everybody. Today, we are going to be going over some work stories that I have. Some of them are horror stories, some of them are funny stories. Um, but that's just what we're going to be doing. I just realized my light is yellow. That's a little bit better. But um, as a little preface, my job is in um, informational technology, information technology. So I work in IT. Um, I'm not going to specify like, in, like, exactly what my job is, but um, I'll be eating a snack while we do this. <laughs> it looks like somebody else already opened this. Rude. These are mine. But I do customer service at IT. Not what you guys think of when you guys think of customer service IT of like the stereotypical, you know, like movie Indian scammer IT person. No, there are a lot of people that um, are before um, they all got new jobs, but we the majority of the ethnic the the, the 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 population at my jobs the vast majority was indian but now there's only like two because <laughs> everyone got better jobs but that's fine um they kind of live up to the stereotype you know but regardless of that i work in it and when you work customer service not only it when you work customer service there's always going to be horror stories. That's that's, that's never going to change because it's customer service, right? But um, my stories aren't going to be customer service stories. Some of them might be. But I want to focus mainly on this one coworker that I have that I despise. I despise him so much. Because he's the type of guy to one up you all the time about your accomplishments or like has like such a big ego that he can't see that he's like projecting this big ego and he has such an asshole vibe. So on January 3rd of 2022. It marks two years of me working at my current job. Awesome. Two years of, you know, straight work, but also a good chunk of the two years I was working from home or I did not work because of COVID. We just could not work because a lot of our protocols or just like a lot of what we normally did was in-person work. And it's really, really hard for us to work if we literally cannot work because of COVID guidelines. We were not allowed to work um, because it was not considered a like necessary business and stuff like that, right? You know, we're not a hospital, we're not a doctor's office, we're not a grocery store, we're just IT. And um, we do work with um, a university. So we were still able to work from home to be able to help like the university um, attendants, whether they be students or staff members um, for their computers and other knickknacks that they use for online teaching and online learning. But we couldn't do any of it in person, especially since the university completely changed it to be um, online school anyways. We um, literally had no reason to like be in office. Because we weren't working in office, we were working out from home, or like me, I just took a break from working on accident. <laughs> because I didn't submit a, a form on time to work. So I just had a pretty nice long break. Um, but I've been working there for two years, right? I've been working at my current job for two years. Two years. I'm very, very proud of myself. And then there's this new guy that just got hired. Um, in 
August of last year. So they've been working here for about half a year now. And um, in the beginning, they were, of course, like training, learning everything. I was there for every single shift that they were at because I was slightly helping with training because I'm, I've been working there for like already over a year and a half. And um, one of the leads were in, um, like the lead wasn't coming in because they're working from home because they live two hours away from office because um, they no longer live near because of COVID. They just moved out to go back home and save a lot of money on rent. But so I was kind of helping with training, but also I was like the main person just that was doing the majority of the work while um, like uh, a higher position was training them. Uh, so work wouldn't be halted in any way. But there's this guy. I'm going to name drop him because I don't care. I don't care. Okay, he's younger than me. He is like the same height as my brother, same build as my brother, and same age as my brother. But he is white, Russian. Um, <laughs> hi, shy guy. Um, he's white. He's Russian, and um, I want him to be Russian out of the office because I don't want him to work there anymore. <laughs> But um, his name is Max, <laughs> and what do you do? Max is like a fucking electrical engineer or some shit like that. He's an engineer. Cool. He's smart. He is really, really intelligent in computers, and software, and coding, and all these things, right? Like, cool. That's why he wants to work here because it's in IT. But we don't do any software stuff. We don't really do hardware stuff that much either. A customer service that just helps with um, like slight troubleshooting. And um, we're kind of like a... So technically we're under the school. And... We are like a library, but for electronics. So we like check out equipment. So that's what my job is. And this boy, this child, he has someone 21, he's 19. But he's a child. And I don't like him disrespecting me. I don't care if I'm shorter than him. Uh, he's like six foot tall. I'm five foot four. Yes, I'm short. I'm third than him. I'm shorter than him, yeah? That does not mean that you should be treat me lesser than you. Which he does. Which, on my mama, I'd be the fuck out of him. I'll, like, find a way to bring him to my level and beat the shit out of him because he's so fucking annoying. But legally, I can't, yeah? Legally, I can because he's not under the age of 18. Besides the point. In the first few weeks of him working here, he obviously saw who I was because he was introduced to me. Every single trainee was introduced to me. Saying, hi, Tiana. She's been working here for a while. If you need any questions, if you have any questions or need any help, you can go ask her. She's been working here for a while, so she can always help you. Everyone is introduced to me so they can see that I am did it not save? Um, did my podcast thing not save? Uh, I I just changed it right now. I just changed it right now. Did it not save? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, no. I just clicked on change. I had to change it earlier when I, before I started. <laughs> my bad, guys. <laughs> um. Anyways. Everyone is introduced to me so everyone knows that I've been working for a while and that I am someone that is big brain about the job and you can ask me questions about the job because I am a trustworthy um, source. You know, I'm like a peer-reviewed journal. Um, so Max knows that I've been working there for a while. 
HR didn't give him and all the other trainees access to a program that we um, use for work. Um, and so one day I wasn't really doing too much work. I was just kind of vibing. But still, I was doing work, not in the program. So we use iSupport, which is a ticket uh, ticket operating program. Um, and we were, and I personally was working on a completely separate project because um, the staff members know that because I've been working there for a while, I'm trustworthy. And also, I'm very, very efficient in what I do. And so to prevent me from doing, like, chump work of just, like, answering emails and picking up calls and this and that they usually assign me projects um which I really really like I like doing projects because it does add to like add more to my skill set instead of just doing the same thing I've been doing for like over a year I can work on new things figure out more things in IT and just better with my skills and so I was working on a project that I was assigned by a staff member by someone that is a higher position than I am right because I'm still technically like a lower level. I haven't been promoted yet, but we call them staff members. But like they all have like their separate titles that I don't remember. Um, and because I wasn't doing work in iSupport, our ticket, our ticket operating system, Max just got access to it and was like learning and working on stuff, answering email slash figuring out tickets. And when I was getting off my shift, because I think they were getting, I think because, um, uh, yeah, they, they were, they were working till closing. And I was like working less hours than that. So I was leaving the office, but then I was like, I already was already like past like my hours. I like, I, I stopped working at like five and he was working until 10. That's when our office closes. And I was like, on my way walking out already clocked out and then max had the fucking audacity to be like oh hey tiana you have access to i support by the way and i go yeah why and he goes oh i was just wondering i was like what were you asking if i did any work today and he goes never mind never mind. i'm like no i'm serious like were you are you saying that I didn't do any work today? And he goes, kinda. <laughs> Excuse me? I was, I was ready to fucking throw hands. Like, I was off shift. Like, I, I did not care. I was gonna just pa pa pa. Like, what? And I go, Max, I've been working here for almost two years. Of course I have access to I support. Like, well, I didn't see that you were working on any tickets. So I just, I was just wondering. Sorry, never mind. I'm like, you can't just say never mind. Like, you can't just get out of a fucking argument by saying never mind. Like, I do that, but like in like stupid petty fights, you know, with like my boyfriend. But when you are attacking a coworker that has been working there for much longer than you have, that knows a lot more than you about this specific fucking job, where you're supposed to be coming to me for help, you're saying that because you didn't see any work visually in like a program that we use every day does not mean that I didn't do work. There's another fucking bitch at my job that literally she 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 is a much much higher position than I am, right? She's like right below the um the manager and um uh and because so the manager manages the entire department that we're in. So, and, and, like, this other chick, she's, like, right below her. Um, but this other chick, also, she, she, she defines work ethic by our online work. She, because she's not in the office all the time, especially during COVID. Um, I worked in office in person because I said, fuck it. It's not going to give me more money, but then um, I'm actually, I want to get out of my house every single day and go to work instead of just being at home. Because then I'm not going to actually work and I'm not going to be in the work mentality. So I decided to work in person during COVID. Um, like the peaks and heights of COVID uh, where our office was able to open in person. And she never acknowledged my work 
because I did not focus on I support tickets. I focused on working in person, working on projects in person that I that there is no way to track other than being there in person and seeing me work on these projects. And so I was never acknowledged my work from like one of the highest positions um, in my job. And um, it's literally only because she does not see me doing work in the program that we use. Um, like, I'm sorry you don't see me doing checkouts and you don't see me working on tickets. It's because I'm literally focusing on troubleshooting things in person, working on projects, setting things up so professors can be able to teach correctly. So I'm so I can make sure that the, the rooms work on campus and all this and all that. Um, because my job, our department, we focus on checking out equipment for people as well as troubleshooting the projectors and the entirety of the electronic systems in rooms that are for teaching. And I spent the majority of my time working there doing in-person projects and not really working online. But I have been using iSupport for three years because of my previous job. So I'm not acknowledged for my work, regardless from that from 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 that first person. In my face. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, but um, so they don't acknowledge me at all, and. That fucking sucks, right? Anyways, back to the Mac situation. He obviously just has the audacity to just like say that I don't do work or that I haven't been doing work when I was working on a project. And they decided to confront me about it on like their second to third fucking week working here. You're gonna confront me. You are gonna confront me just because we're on the same level as in what our position is does not give you any fucking power at all to comment on my performance at work but then yeah they were like yeah i didn't see you do any work i just wanted to see if you had access to i support and i was like i've been working for two years like oh sorry i forgot like i was like everybody else knows that i've been working here for a while because you were introduced to me on your first day of work and he goes oh my bad, my bad. i must have forgot like, you can't just say, never mind, oh my god, my bad, my bad, and think that that's just going to blow over the situation and not make me feel like you are attacking me for my worth here in the company. That's not how it works. Just because you're smarter than me and maybe get better grades than me or in a better freaking major than I am, working whatever, be some kind of company bullshit that he talks about all the fucking time. Like, it doesn't matter. You are not better than me at all. And I'm not trying to say that I am better than him, which I am. But I don't fucking go to his face and say, like, hey, Max, can you, like, start working? Like, I don't fucking do that. The only thing is I tell him not to fucking curse at work because he curses a lot. Like, I do as well. But then I do it, like, under my breath. I do it. Exactly. I, I I do it under my breath. I do it. Um, I don't like I don't do it super frequently. But there was a time that he was looking at things on the computer and he said, like, what the fuck is this shit? Super loud. When that girl, the woman that I was talking about earlier, the one that like tracks our performance is in the office and could hear him. And our manager's door was open. And I literally was like, Max, don't fucking curse so loud. When Devana's here, like, shut the fuck up. I'm looking out for him, but at the same time, I shouldn't be, because if he gets fired, he's gone. He's gone. Okay? G-O-N-E. Regardless. Um, that's the first incident that I had with Max. First incident, and that's not the fucking last. And it tilts me so much. Yes, gone. G-O-N-E. But yes, literally, Max is definitely probably like a person saying something stupid and then just saying like, oh my god, is this a joke? Like, why can't, why, bro, like, just, can you not take a joke? Or just like, 
kind of just like played off as like he 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 like just kidding or like oh my god never mind like ah i didn't even say anything like what are you talking about like trying to like play it off but it's you can't just play that off you can't just shit on me you can't just shit on me anyways so i am going into my last semester at university to get my bachelor's degree in advertising as well as getting a double minor in communications and anthropology right i'm super super proud of myself and i've been really really worried because i was waitlisted in the class and all this and all that and i was like working on like school stuff at work because it was like during downtime there was no customers there was no calls there's no emails so i was just working on something else really important to me the school and i was um looking through my information and stuff like that and went to check my transcript because i needed to get my i needed to submit my transcript if i was going to petition for um more units if i needed another class and so i was like looking through my transcript and i started freaking out and i started talking to my other coworker, not to max max is sitting two seats away from me like, we were, like, in the same area-ish, but he's, like, sitting nearby. And I turn around and go, Charmaine, oh, my God, guess what? I got a 3.8 GPA last semester. And I was freaking out. Um, But, like, before I said that, I said, oh, my God, I raised my GPA from a 3.3 to a 3.4 GPA. Max, butting in to my conversation that he isn't a part of, he says... Oh, just 3.4? Ick fucking excuse me? Ick fucking excuse me? Yes, a 3.4 isn't the best, but that is still only 0.6 points away from a fucking 4.0. Okay? You fucking bitch. I am proud of myself because I had a 3.5 GPA my first semester of college. And then f I kept it for my second, so my entire first year, I had 3.5 GPA. In my second year, unfortunately, because of two separate math classes I took in two separate semesters, it dropped my GPA because I got C's in both the classes because I have a very, very hard time understanding math. It was the same thing in high school where I had to fail a math class and I had to retake it. But math is a very, very difficult subject for me. I might be taking another math class this semester, so I'm really, really scared about it. But I worked super hard last semester. I freaking course stacked and had 20 fucking units because i'm trying to graduate on time which is this fucking semester with double minor and a fucking major if i did not do a double minor only did single minor i would be graduated by now i would have graduated last semester i did no none at all no minors i would have been graduated already right i want to prove my, to myself that i am a hard worker and that i can fucking do this i can kill myself by forcing myself to take so many fucking classes that i hate myself but my outcome my outcome is on my fucking resume saying double fucking minor double motherfucking minor showing that i can do a lot of work right that i can do a fuckload of work that i can get it through that i can finish that i can get the fucking certificates that i can get the like the, the the degree right that i can get the proof that i did this work as well as have a decent gpa to go along with it that is what i want and so me raising my 3.3 GPA to a 3.4 is an accomplishment for me because I'm going back to a 3.5 GPA. And if I reach higher than a 3.5 GPA, I can be cum laude, right? Regardless of that, I was like, oh my God, that's crazy. I got 3.0 GPA last, last semester, literally like 0 0.02 points away from getting a motherfucking 4.0. That would have been the first time in my life. Having a 3.8 GPA in a semester is the first time ever my entire freaking career of school all four years of high school never in a single semester have i ever gotten a 3.0 gpa i had a b a a a a which got me to a 3.4 gpa a 3.8 gpa in a semester because i got a b in a class that's fine i was so close to 4.0 but that proves to show that that goes to show that i am good at what i do I am good at the fucking classes that I'm taking that are for my minors and that I am passing my classes for my major. Like, I'm doing well and I am proud of myself. 
and Charmaine was like, oh my God, that's so great to hear. I'm so glad, I'm so proud of you. And then my other coworker, Danny was like, hey, yo, nice. Um, and they were also like praising me. But then Max says something like along the lines of just 3.4 and just like, like punching down my accomplishment and making me like not feel good about this accomplishment. Even though it's a slight GPA raise, it's still a raise. It's still an accomplishment. It's still an increase in something that I'm working hard in. Like you don't understand what I'm trying to do. You don't have to shit on me just because you're a fucking engineering major, just because you have better grades than me or something. And then he tries to like, like go back. I'm, I literally like, after he said something like, oh, wow, nice. Or like, oh, good. Like in like a, literally the tone that he said it in was just like, oh, what the fuck? Just 3.4, that's trash kind of tone, kind of attitude. I was like, Max, shut up. I put my hand up to his fucking face and I told him to shut up. You are not gonna fucking talk shit about my GPA. You're not gonna make me feel bad about what I did. Like you're not gonna dismiss my accomplishment at all you are not doing that and he like backtracks on like everything he just said like oh no i mean i wasn't i mean like your your gpa is like already better than like 90 percent of electrical engineers i was like i don't care like i don't give a fuck you can't just give me an attitude saying that my accomplishment is not an accomplishment and go back to try to compare me to other people that are not that, that are like worse than me you can't compare my major to an electrical engineer major or any other engineering major that is so freaking focused on so many different aspects in stem that you need to work so hard to get a good gpa i'm just in advertising and i'm not doing the best but i'm not doing the worst so you can't compare it because the workload is so different but he still dismissed my accomplishment as someone that is younger than me, as someone that should be looking up to me, as someone that should be asking me for help, as someone that is my colleague, as someone that is technically on my level, you should not be dismissing my accomplishments at all. I have literally done absolutely nothing negative towards you. And you are just only giving me this attitude of your trash. That ain't it, chief. That truly ain't it. But that pissed me off so badly. That same day, that was like right before I got off of work. Again, right? But that same day, like two hours before that, I was talking to a friend of mine at work. Um, and I was talking about Oh, I, I got, you know, like, oh, this is fucking great. I just got a sale on my Etsy because I sell commissions on Etsy. And um, I sell overlays on Etsy as well as on Fiverr. I do custom commissions, right? So that's like what I do to get extra money out of my job. Um, since with streaming, because of my large break, unfortunately, a lot of my viewership has decreased as well as my subs. I have very, very few subs. Um, the only recurring ones that I know of are like my, like, um, Ryan, one of my mods, Tristan, my boyfriend, and then my two best friends, Angel and Vivian. I think Angel. I honestly don't know. Um, but like, I have very, very few subs every single month, so I'm not getting any revenue from my stream anymore. Like, I don't make Twitch payout anymore. Like, before I did because of like gifted subs and all this and all that, but now I can't reach the minimum amount to get a payout. Um, so that kind of tells you how much I make from Twitch, which is not a lot of money, which I don't care about, right? But, um, doing commissions and selling on Etsy is, like, a great way for me to just make simple, easy money where I can sharpen my skills in art and be able to use that in my career in the future. So it's, 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 it's a positive thing for me. But, but I was like, oh, hey, like, Min, look. Isn't this cool? Like I, I like sell overlays on Etsy and I just like gotta sell like right now. That's crazy. She's like, oh cool, you do art? I'm like, yeah, I do art and I sell on Etsy, I do this, I do that. I'm like, oh yeah. Um didn't Christian, which is our coworker, like wanted to commission you like for like a car, like his car or something? I was like, what? Oh yeah. He didn't want to pay me, so um that sucked. But I still did it and everything. I was explaining them to the story. 
stuff, which is the car commission that I did on stream a while back. And then I showed that to her and Max is sitting right next to her. And so I um, just eventually showed both of them, like my Etsy and my portfolio and all this and all that. And, and then Max, I told him the day before on shift that I'm a streamer. I stream and that like I reached 1k before my birthday and all this and all that I've been streaming for almost two years um in July it'll be two years but like I've been streaming for a while um you know like it's fun I enjoy doing it so he knows I'm a streamer but for some reason the next day he decides to fucking mansplain shit to me no fucking joke I have never been mansplained in my life right because i shut that down quickly or literally i just talk so much and so loudly that the attention is all on me and that no one dares to speak up you know because i have that outward kind of attitude of i'm loud i'm out there i'm blunt i'm straightforward i am a strong independent woman that don't need no fucking man don't fuck with me kind of vibe that is the vibe that i give off people think i'm a bitch for, like as their first impression that's fucking fine. It doesn't matter to me anymore, right? I'm a fucking bitch. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Um, but then he goes to ask, like, why do people have, like, why do people even, like, get these overlay thingies? And I go, because people want to, to make it, like, unique, because it's nice, you know, like, to make everything look very, very cohesive and stuff. And he goes, I mean, like, you don't really need them. Like, no, you don't need it. But then some people do. And he goes, like, oh, also, like, why do people have chat in their, like, frame thing? Like, chat's already on the side. Like, why do you need to see chat on the screen? I'm like, because when people watch VODs, which are videos that are saved onto platforms like Twitch, um, people, like, want to watch these when the actual streamer is not live and so if a like right now no one can see chat because i don't have chat on the screen so if someone were to watch this vod or people were to listen to this podcast they're not going to know what chat is saying so i said it's for when the streamer's offline you can see what they're talking about and so the streamer doesn't look crazy just like talking to themselves which i am doing right now and um for it to just be there and also you can download the vods and edit it and post it on other things and he goes okay and then he starts asking about stream labels so the things that are something at the bottom or the top specific for mine at the top of uh, people's overlays that says newest follower newest sub and newest um donation right and he goes like like why the fuck is that even there and i was like it's to just say thanks to the people that did that for you it's to, 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 to give them thanks for subbing. That's money for donations because that's money. Following because that's helping your channel. And he goes, so marketing. And giving me this, like I have it burned in my fucking mind the way that he looked at me. He looked at me like this, right? Mask on like this. What the? Like, are you fucking stupid? Like, are you stupid fucking face? While sitting on, like, the, the office chair and, like, kind of leaning back a little bit, like. And then I was like, what the fuck do you mean marketing? He goes, like marketing. As if I didn't fucking hear what the fuck he just said. No, I'm literally asking you, why are you saying it's marketing? And he goes, I mean, like, aren't you, like, marketing to, like, get more subs and follows and stuff? Like, Max. Max, Max, Max. No, you fucking idiot. That is there to give thanks. That is there to just put that there to freaking show a person. Like, thank you. Thank you for doing that. I appreciate you. People sometimes donate so they can be shown on there. For example, for people like Tim the Tatman, Pokimane, um uh disguised toes billy pichu michael reeves scara uh fucking 
uh, Ninja, whoever fucking else, right? Tens. They're huge fucking streamers. And people donate and have it shown on the screen. So they can be like, hey, yo, that's me, that's me, that's me. Or like if they have the stream, like, it's like, oh my god, look, I'm on his stream. It's so viewers can have recognition for being there, for what they did. And he's like, so marketing. And then that's when we brought up the 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 um chat, downloading VODs, editing it and stuff like that. He's like, okay, so the marketing. I'm like, Max. People download VODs and edit them and post it on other social media like TikTok as well as YouTube because it is more content. Yes, that is promoting your Twitch stream by putting it on other platforms. And you are advertising your, your, your content by putting it on other platforms. But you're also creating content to put out there just to advertise yourself and what you do. That is marketing. That is advertising. But having stream labels on an overlay is not marketing if you want to market getting more followers and this and that it'll be what i did which is putting a goal on the stream saying you know like for one of my goals is to get a dslr camera that is just there i don't talk about it i don't say hey guys i haven't gotten a donation in an hour huh it's been a fucking hour and you guys can just fucking sit around and not even spend a fucking dollar huh what the fuck are you even doing here? If you guys are fucking working, you guys have fucking five dollars to spend a sub to me. <laughs> Dude, that fucking chick is whack. If you guys know that reference, you guys are. <laughs> if you guys know that reference, great. That chick is fucking whack. Anyways, um, <laughs> been a whole ass out. <laughs> like I don't do that shit, right? I don't constantly promote that I am trying to get the last arc. DSLR camera. I don't talk about the money that I make through Twitch. I don't talk about like, oh, like can you guys sub? Like, I want money to buy things. I want money to upgrade my stream. Can you guys sub? Can you guys send biddies? Like, no. I'm not gonna fucking ask guys for money. Everyone's going through shit, especially because it's COVID. I would rather have you guys unsub from me and use that money and put it towards food, put it towards rent, put it towards bills, put it towards school tuition put it towards anything else that's much more important if you have the excess money to be able to sub to me to be able to donate to me that is amazing and i appreciate it there are multiple times that people have sent me money that have subbed to me that have done things for me and i always say why the fuck did you do that i can send you the money back i do not care because i work i make my own money i don't mind giving the money back if it is necessary so I don't mind if you unsub. If you if you get to the sub, great. Thank you so much for the gifter. Cool, you can use my emotes. But I really don't care, right? So the donation bar has been there for months. And I only have $5 in it or some shit. But I don't care. I can save up my own money and put it into a buying a used DSLR camera. Like, it's just there to just be like, oh, if someone notices it, then they can donate if they want to. But it's not something that I'm going to constantly promote. But that is marketing. If I'm going to constantly promote something to put it into the minds of people that I am looking for something or that they can benefit me in a way where they put something in and I get something out of it. That is advertising. That is advertising my want for a DSLR camera to better my stream quality, right? But stream labels and it just saying, Tiana Lamb donated $5. That is not marketing. Newest follower is Shy Guy Mario. That is not marketing. Newest sub is Adderworks. That is not fucking marketing. Like, that is just putting a fucking static name on a screen. That doesn't do shit. A follow goal, a sub goal, a bit goal, a fucking something else goal. That is also not marketing unless you are constantly drawing attention to it. Right? So I say to Max, Max. I am an advertising major about to graduate. And I have been streaming for almost two years. I know what I am talking about. And he goes, oh, you're right, my bad. I want to punch a hole in this man's face. Because, again, he, okay. The whole situation, he was literally mansplaining marketing and streaming to me. 
like asking me questions that are stupid like there are no such thing there there are no such things as stupid questions but every question that came out of his mouth was stupid right if you guys were to ask me i would give an answer but then if you were to make assumptions dodge i hate you out of works I hate you, but I love you. But take those fucking five dollars back. I want to send it back, you asshole. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not talking about how I don't need fucking money for you to send me money, you asshole. But thank you so much, Adwords, for the five dollars. If you can send me what your PayPal is, I'll send that shit back, please and thank you. Um. Anyways, this motherfucker was mansplaining it as if he knows better than I do and is better than I am in, like, any fucking way. Like, he makes me feel so incompetent. Like, I have, you guys. I have those that are listening to the podcast, those that are watching my stream, those that are, you know, that have been my fucking day ones. Out of works is a motherfucking day one. I don't know if he has the founder's badge, but he is a motherfucking day one. Like, actually, a day one. He was there, pretty sure, at my first stream, because I streamed with someone that he and I both mutually watch, and that we mutually are friends with, and... I said I was streaming, and Out of Works, I think, came by my stream and gave me a follow, along with a lot of other people from that stream. There are a lot of day ones. Not many of them come back to my stream, but... I literally muted alerts. They still show up on my fucking face. Who the fuck is 20 bucks an hour, huh? Who the fuck is 20 bucks an hour? And why did you send me 20 bucks? Why? I literally am not make, doing this fucking podcast so you can send me fucking money. Please. That whole bit. That whole bit about... About... Like, no. <laughs> no. Okay, good thing this fucking podcast is only going to be an hour. I only have 17 minutes left. Y'all can't send me more money, okay? Just, just let me know. I want to send it back to you guys, please. Please and thank you. <laughs> oh, I don't want your money. <laughs> um, but thank you so much, whoever you are. I'm a day three sixty five. <laughs> um, but anyways, like, regardless of day ones and everything, right? I'm just saying, like, I, I have skills. I have a great skill set. I am working hard in school and I have an amazing boyfriend and I am doing a lot of things that I am passionate about right now, which is streaming, which is doing art, which is making graphics, um, you know, like just like doing what I want to and what makes me happy. And I am not incompetent. I, I am not. But the way that Max speaks to me literally is mansplaining the way that he speaks to me is making me feel incompetent like he literally mansplained like i support and shit to me he literally mansplained streaming and marketing to me like advertising is a branch under marketing i'm not fucking stupid i literally took marketing courses for my major to graduate literally imc or I am, I took an, uh, a, like, an integrated marketing fucking course about something. I freaking, uh, uh, I don't fucking remember, but I take marketing classes. Like, I understand marketing. I'm not stupid. And so much of my course intertwines with marketing courses because we are a branch under marketing. You can't mansplain marketing to me. You cannot mansplain streaming to me unless you can show me that you have a streaming community at all more than like three people because you know that's how what you do to get affiliate and and you have more than like 50 hours into streaming then i might talk to you 
right? Because that's like so little. 50 hours, you can do that really easily. That's like streaming two to three times a week for about three weeks, depending on how many hours you stream, right? If you have never seen before and only watch streams, you can't understand a streamer's point of view. You cannot, you cannot understand me and you can't explain anything to me. You cannot, you cannot fucking say anything about my GPA. You cannot say anything about my grades. You cannot say anything about my accomplishments. You cannot say anything about who I am and degrade me because you are a man. Like he has never once said like, oh, I'm a man. I'm better than you. But his attitude, his attitude exudes that so fucking much. And I despise him so much because of it. Literally, so much. Um, as a quick update for those that are just listening in on the stream, um, Max is a coworker of mine that started working about five to six months ago that I've had multiple incidents with in ways where they have mansplained things to me, in ways that they have disrespected me, and um, that, and I'm just explaining my hatred towards him because he is way too disrespectful and I hate it. And I literally wanted to throw hands with him so many times, but I can't. But yeah, so that is um, Max. I can't really think of any other stories other than like like now like work stories. So I was on the phone with a customer. Wait, okay, that last time I just fucking said I was stupid. I can't think of any other coworker stories. Um I can just only think of like customer stories. So there's a customer that called in saying like, Hey, I need to return I mean then I checked out. And I go, okay, uh, you know, like, give me your identification number and we can look at um, your stuff. We go there and we see that we have marked them as a thief and for stealing our equipment. And I go, actually, you can't check out from us again because you stole our stuff. And they go, no, I didn't. I still have it right here. And I go, but your return date was a month ago and they go yeah but i've been in contact with you for like a month because i needed it for like an extra week which is during christmas break which we um took like a few days off for um you know holiday break for a few days for christmas and for thanksgiving and stuff like that um or sorry uh christmas and new year's and um but yeah, I've been in contact with you guys the entire time saying that I have it. And um, so I didn't steal it. And I go, well, you see, your return date was on the 22nd of December. It is now like the 17th of January. And we don't have your equipment so technically that means that you stole it he goes no 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 and the email you sent me like if i kept in contact with you then then like um you can't mark it as as that as that i stole it i go well anyways going back into the customer story of them stealing our, our, our 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 equipment they um, were constantly talking about how because they're keeping in contact with us, there's no way or reason for them to be able to uh, be suspended from our um, system because they technically did not steal our equipment. But it's been like a month. And that's still technically stealing but i was on that call for 30 minutes going back and forth with them repeating the same exact things over and over nope 
you are still going to be suspended from the account. No, unfortunately, yes, you are considered stealing our equipment. Even if you are going to return it, that does not mean anything. Hello there. Oh. Hi, Pixie. Welcome right to my stream. Hello. <laughs> but. 30 minutes of me repeating the same, like, five things to them. That it's still considered stolen, that their account would be suspended, that they have to return it as soon as possible, that they cannot check out anything from us ever again, and that, um, and that, yeah, like, and that it doesn't change anything that they have been in contact with us for like, the last month that they have had our equipment for. Like, nothing is going to change, you still technically stole it from us. And, like, hella people were just, like, damn, she's been on that call for a long-ass fucking time. And I was, like, I have been. Don't stop. So that was just, like, a really long call. Um, a, a, Like, a, a horror story of customer service is a, 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 um, someone came in, but, like, they have, like, very, very broken English. And, uh, they... We're taking, like, they took a course, and um, it was basically to fix their resume and said to like make it into a one page resume, resume, because that's you know the standard. They come in because they're using a a laptop that they checked out from us, and they're like, "Hey, I'm trying to find this file that I know I saved onto the computer, and I can't find it. Can you find it for me?" I'm like, "Okay, I can try." And then so I was looking through. And I could not find it at all because she did not save it. And then she starts raising her voice at me and starts screaming at me, saying, like, I know that I saved it. Um, are you telling me I'm wrong? And like they're like this like old tiger lady. They're an Asian woman, speaks very, very broken English, they're Vietnamese, and I cannot speak Vietnamese at all. And I wish that I could, because if I spoke Vietnamese, I feel like she would have treated me a lot differently. You know, I'm her kind and stuff. Like I'm, 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 I'm one of her people. But um, she starts saying like, "No, I saved it. I named it this. Stop pulling up this other fucking file. That's not the file I'm looking for. It is this exact file. I know I saved it. I just saved it." And I go, no, it's not on here. And I go, did you save it into like Google Drive? Like, no, I saved it onto the computer. And I go, are you sure? Because I've looked through your entire computer and it's not on your computer. And they go, are you stupid? Like, it's literally on my computer. I know it's on my computer. I saved it. I know I did. And I named it exactly this. It's going to be on the computer. Are you saying that you can't find it? And I go, no, I can't find it because you unfortunately might have not saved it. I'm trying to like speak as calmly as possible and it's giving me PTSD because it's a fucking, you know, middle-aged Vietnamese woman berating me, you know, like it's giving me it's like, you know, childhood trauma, you know, like you live in an immigrant household, what I'm talking about. And it was like, giving me so much PTSD and my other coworker that I brought up before that's Vietnamese was out of office working on a project so like he couldn't just come by and save me by speaking Viet and calming her down but she was just yelling at me saying like oh okay if you can't do it then it's whatever you know like you, you know like you, you just like you just can't do anything like, you, you, um, like basically saying like I'm stupid and like I don't know how to do anything and I don't know how to fix it and all this and all that but like I can if the file was there but nothing in this situation is my fault and i'm not trying to say it's your fault and i don't want to say that because it's an old lady and she's gonna shit on me and i can't even say that's my mom because you know like the fighting and like disrespect and like asian cultures and like all this and all that but like i was like bro i just want to tell her like ayo ayo lady it's your fault that you didn't save it. That's why you don't have it. It's not my fault at all. Like, it's it's on you, my dude. I couldn't. And then Flash like, ugh. 
And she closes the laptop. She, like, takes it back. She, like, puts it away into her laptop bag. And she has two fucking laptops. Um, and she goes, like, ah, you can't find it. Whatever. I'm done wasting my time. I'm like, oh, my God, the PTSD. PTSD is coming back to me. Fuck, please, no, Mom. And, um, and then she starts, like, uh, then she proceeds to ask, do you have an extra laptop bag? That you can give me so I can carry the other laptop since I have two in this bag. And I go, that laptop should have came with the laptop bag. And they go, no, no, it didn't. I'm like, oh, God, she's going to start following me about this now. Like, are you serious, bro? Like, I cannot give you a laptop bag. We are not a fucking charity. He cannot just give you free shit. Like, that is not how it works. You can buy your own, bitch. Like, what in the fuck? And she was like, gonna start a fucking fight. Like, no. I did not come with one. I, do you not have any extras? Huh? Like, no. No, we don't. And it should have came with a laptop bag. She's like, I just need another one because I have two laptops. Like, I can't give you one. I'm sorry. And they're like, ah, yeah. I'm wasting my time here. And like, she just like fucking left. And my heart was beating so fucking fast like fucking trauma just seeping through my blood bro like oh my god i was i was terrified i was gonna piss my pants like it was not good it was not working out like i was terrified it was not a vibe it was very very much not a vibe um <laughs> and then when my clerk and the smoke came back later on i was like hey Remember that Asian lady that came by like a while ago and caused an entire scene in our office and like doesn't speak that much English? Like, yeah. Like, yeah, she came back today. He's like, oh, how was that? And I was like, um, my PTSD came back. And he goes, oh. I was like, yeah, she was like kind of yelling at me. And like, I tried to like call her cold to kind of like calm her down, but like that didn't really work out. And you weren't here, so I couldn't ask you that for help to, like, speak Viet to her. And I felt so stupid because I can't speak Viet. Like, it was not a good experience. And he goes, ooh, yeah, I was at my office. I was working on a project. I was like, yeah, I know. Uh, so, yeah, that was very traumatizing. And honestly, the worst customer service, customer service experience that I've had because of how, like, how like at home it fit of like someone that doesn't understand English as much as well as as well as not understanding electronics as much um asking me for help and them getting mad at me because they don't understand what I'm trying to tell them saying that like I can't fix something or I can't do something and then them basically saying that I'm incompetent that I can't do anything and that I can't help ah <sighs> so yeah it was a little, it was a little triggering it's just, just, just a little triggering you know that's fine but this is where i'm gonna be ending the podcast thank you guys so much for listening along or watching along if you're going to be watching back on the vod on the youtube channel if i'm gonna start posting these oh my god um or on twitch but i will be seeing you guys next week next friday uh <laughs> next friday for my next episode hopefully next time i will be having more guests Unfortunately, Vivian is in Scotland, and um, <laughs> unfortunately, Vivian's in Scotland, so she can't really over have like overlapping times with me as much anymore. And um, Angel is, you know, living her own life, and Tristan's streaming right now, so I don't want to always have the same, um. I don't want to have the same, like, uh, podcasters all the time because they're not, like, my co-podcasters, you know? But, yes, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a great rest of the day, night, morning, afternoon, evening, or whatever time it's for you guys. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!